Fish eyes and craters are words that strike fear into the hearts of all wood finishers. If all your wood projects look like they belong in the fish tank, don't fear. I'm Daryl Young with ML Campbell and you've reached the finish line. Welcome back to the finish line. This week we're going to be talking about the wood finishing problem commonly known as fish eyes or craters. And this is a, a defect that kind of looks like what it sounds like. Little holes or indentations or craters in the wood coating film. And this can happen for a couple different reasons. Usually if you have fish eyes or craters on your finish or in your finish, it's the result of some sort of a oily, waxy or silicone based contaminant or particle that is either on the wood surface before you spray it in the coating itself or in the air that's being used to atomize the coating. The oily waxy or silicone based contaminants that can cause fish eyes and craters have many possible sources. To name a few it can be diesel exhaust, the oily particles found in diesel exhaust from running trucks it can be greasy cooking smoke from barbecues or some greasy restaurant operation. Can be the exhaust from two-stroke motors, that blue oily exhaust that comes out of weed eaters, out of concrete saws. There can be oil in your compressed air system as a result of a defective compressor. Uh, it can be leftover cutting oil in your piping for your compressed air system that wasn't properly washed out and rinsed out when the system was manufactured. It can also be contaminants on the person of your operators. It can be things like hand creams, hair gel, deodorant, fabric softener on their clothes. All of these different things can be problematic if they come in contact with the surface of the wood or are kind of somehow mixed into the coating itself. Also problematic can be residual polishes and waxes that uh, can't be removed effectively during a, finish, uh, a refinishing or a stripping operation. And this is a common area for fish eyes and craters when a refinishing shop strips off an old finish and intends to refinish a piece of antique or older furniture, sometimes it's difficult to get the old wax and or polish out of the pores of the wood and when you respray the, the stripped piece of furniture, you end up with this fish eye and crater problem. Another common cause of fish eyes and craters is the use of aerosol silicone based lubricants. And these are the cans of sprayable material that you might spray on rusty bolts to free them up, or you might spray the bearings on a wheel so it doesn't squeak as much. Some people even use it to spray on the deck of their table saw so that boards slide across the deck more easily. Not really a great plan using these types of products in a wood shop. If these aerosolized silicone based particles are kind of airborne and land on the surface of wood you intend to spray, they can wreak havoc when it comes to fish eyes and craters. When fish eyes do occur, one possible solution is to use what's commonly known as fish eye killer or fish eye eliminator and you add that to the coating and it tends to get rid of the fish eyes. And that seems like a good idea, but the problem with that is that type of additive is actually silicone oil, which is one of the things that causes fish eyes in the first place. So essentially when you add silicone oil to your coating, you're basically creating one big giant fish eye. And once you introduce that fish eye killer, that silicone oil into your spray equipment, difficult to get rid of it. So now you end up having to add fish eye killer to everything. And even that might not seem like such a bad thing, but silicone oil added to your coating can make it very difficult for one layer of coating to stick to the next. The best way to deal with fish eyes and craters is to figure out what is the source of the contamination and try to get rid of it. So now you've got fish eyes and craters in your wood finish, what do you do about it? What works really good is if you put a coat of a good vinyl sealer on the bare wood or on the sanded back wood before going back and, and respraying it again. And the vinyl sealer will kind of seal in those oily, waxy, or greasy contaminants uh, that, that might be on the surface and hopefully get you past this problem. A lot of refinishing shops, in fact, use a vinyl sealer just as a matter of their normal process. They strip the wood, 
stain it if they're going to stain it, and then they'll put on a clear vinyl sealer prior to putting on their top coat, their lacquer, whatever they happen to be spraying, and they do that to make sure that they don't end up with this problem of fish eyes and craters. So thanks for joining us again today on this episode of ML Campbell's Finish Line. Don't forget to leave questions or comments below, and we look forward to seeing you.